Hi and welcome in another video about professional retouching. Last week I showed you how to, um, last week, few days ago actually, I showed you how to do basic cleaning up on the image, how to clean up using basic retouching tools and this is the my process how I actually do full cleaning up. Uh, the image you are looking is already final um, product, the starting image was looking like this. This is the image after all retouching and now I'm going to jump to the image where I, sh I was cleaning up the skin. In this video I want to show you how I clean up the crosshair and there is nothing more simple than that. Also, if you are interested in my professional uh, premium retouching courses, just check the link in the description. And now let's jump into the hair retouching. So you can see maybe I don't want to really retouch too much of it because I want to keep this uh, natural look. Though there is few areas that I could maybe cover up like this hair over here, this crossing one over here, like simple, just really few hair we could fix. I do this in a very simple way. Most of my job I'm doing by using clone stamp tool. I'm choosing a very small uh, size of the of the clone stamp brush and what I do I'm trying to clean this up as you can see with these very soft moves. So you can see before and after. You have to be really careful uh, to do that because you don't want to destroy the hair texture etc. That's why it's very important to keep the small size of the brush, soft edged brush adjusted for uh, working with the Wacom tablet as well. Apparently, uh, not sure if for clone stamp that has any difference but you can switch the mode to darken so then let's see um, if it actually prevent this uh, better it does if you keep the mode dark and as you can see which you can see on the on the skin so then working with darken blending mode uh, can give you a little bit more control and a little bit more secure way of working I even have one class on the hair retouching so there will be also the link in the description for the full class which uh, will be available for you for free for two months you can join for free uh, as a trial so I put the link in the description so you could join and see different techniques of cleaning up the hair but as I, as I said uh, this is pretty much uh, one technique uh, that I use for my everyday work. Of course I would sort out a few more. I want to cover this one a little bit more so uh, that would be... Uh, I could try when I have done big hair work with actually um, I change uh, the blending mode to the soft when I work with the hair. I could work with the healing brush which uh, work really good for single bright hair as you can see. So my cleaning process is about mixing these two techniques, uh, clone stamp mostly and sometimes healing brush for this single uh, stray hair and it gives really great results. So that's how you can easily clean up the hair. Here I have a little bigger one so and not that focus as I would rather use clown stamp. Has to be careful as you can see it's really easy to destroy and I wasn't working with the dark and I was working with multiply which was an obvious mistake so sorry for that. I was mentioning should be uh, darken so I hope you remember so I'm switching between blending mode darken and normal to clean the hair and if you work this if you work carefully softly 
uh, your result will be just perfect here a little too big brush I'm lazy to do a step back so that would be it what I wanted to show you so if you have some of the hair you need to straighten up you need to fix that's uh, the best way for you to work with it